What's going on guys so this has been a few weeks of uh working tried to keep it off social media until the videos out kind of want to be a surprise this is a build i've been thinking about doing for a while i bought this boat oh sometime last year at an antique store just ran across it it was 50 dollars um it's a vintage 70s all aluminum arkansas traveler boat this was a pretty close replica of the real arkansas traveler aluminum boats and they bring pretty good money on eBay. This one, not in the best of shape, and I tried to clean it, and it started losing its blue paint a little more. So we just kind of left it as is, and it's been kicking around the shop and trying to figure out what to do with it for a while now. So the first step we had to do was to weld a trailer. Um, I had that RC four-wheel drive boat trailer for a while. It was just way too big, and I didn't want to hack it up. So I sold that on eBay, and uh, yeah, I just used a bunch of scrap uh, half inch square tubing that I've had left over from rat rod builds and failed builds in the past and um, I had this idea for the I don't know what you call them the fender skirts from airplanes um, they look, I call them the cells because it looks kind of retro Star Trek kind of starship looking shape something from the 60s it looks period correct and uh, just painted and weathered those up I was trying to match the Winnebago color a little bit but it didn't I weathered it a little too much, but I think it looks good. And it, it doesn't really go with the boat anyway, so yeah, it's like a different trailer. The airplane wheels, I think I showed the packaging during the filming. I said it's been done over a course of a few weeks, so I don't I don't have the packaging anymore. I just ran across those at uh, Hobby Town, and they looked about the right size. They had a, an aluminum smooth wheel, which you can't really see, but it had a hole in it that was basically for a 3 millimeter shaft. I just used some scale hardware. Um, bolted it through the wheel, put a nut on it, tightened it enough where the wheel would still free spin, and then bolted the rest of it through the frame rail, put a nut on the inside, tightened that down real good, and so far so good. Um, I got some rocks jammed up in those fenders trying to drive it out to my uh, little concrete area to film, so <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, pull those off, but I made the nacelles easily removed, there's just two screws and they just come right off. I, those are fiberglass. They're real lightweight airplane things. I don't remember what brand. I've had them for the better part of the, the year. Um, I found, I went looking at some hobby shops and they didn't sell any, but they had some planes hanging from the ceiling. Found the size that I like and the shape that I like. And then I wrote down the model number of that plane, went online and ordered them off eBay. And uh, yeah, so I think they work pretty well. The uh, Trailer, like I said, it's it's all bare metal. I just ground it down, made it look as nasty as I could. One, because I suck at welding. And two, just wanted it to have that old look. Um, the pieces where the axles bolt on and the fenders bolt on is bumped out. It's It was already pieces I had welded for, uh, to be an F-250, I was thinking about doing a flatbed four on the uh, Trail Fighter II long wheelbase. And those pieces were just sitting around. They were mirror imaged. And they were about the right length, so we just made it work. 
Um, added some stuff to the boat. The uh, It needed a little something inside. That one originally came with a small steering wheel and a couple little plastic seats, I think, that went in it. So, I uh, just threw some wood down and stained it, beat it up, kind of made it look nice. And I uh, did a little jerry can in there because you got to have some gas for your boat motor. <clears throat> I weathered that with just the AK rust streaks. That's a little see. bit better look at the inside. Um, that motor is vintage. I've been looking at vintage boat motors since I bought this boat. This is the kind of motor that would have been on this originally. It's not the exact one. Um, you could see on the, the hull of the boat it had a dual clamp. It probably had a really expensive, or what's really expensive now, uh, Mercury or one of the nicer boat motors that actually tilts and everything. That was the biggest problem I, I had with that is this boat motor is one of the basic ones. These were, I think I still paid $129 for this thing. And it's supposedly tested and works. These are working motors. I think they run off six volt. I haven't done a whole lot of research on them other than trying to find a really cool looking one that was cheap. And this is the, these are the cheapest ones you can find. Um, we'll turn it around here in a minute. You can see the, the name and markings on it. But it has a nice patina. It's got some brass stuff. It's got some cast stuff and that tin uh, cover. It's got a real nice patina to it. A little bit of the red flaking off. But I used some wood and I, I made it work. I had to drill a couple holes in the boat. One to mount the back of the boat to the trailer because I tried tying it down and it just wasn't working. And then I, I got it tied down and it pulled the motor off. So uh, I'm not going to put this in the water. A, because I don't want to take it off the trailer now. But that's not really what this is for. This is kind of cool to pull around with the Winnebago. But I made a little wooden piece in there and bolted that through the bottom of the boat. And I used the scale bolts on the back side of the boat. It does look like it has a drain plug, which is kind of cool. Um, but the front of the boat is tied down. It's just tied with some uh, jewelry string. And the back of the boat is held on with a rusty nail. I kid you not. I'll show you more of that here in All a right. second. So this motor is, it says DC Motor Patent Sakai, S-A-K-A-I. Sishikusho, Tokyo, Japan. Apparently a lot of these boat motors were made in Japan. All these, uh, even the, the brand name Mercury's and stuff were made in Japan. Um, I, I don't know much of the history on that. I'm gonna have to do some more research on it, but like I said, I bought this one. It was, these are the cheapest kind, this style. They're pretty basic. Some of them have tilt, some of them have dual clamps that clamp to the boat. Um, this was the cheapest one, and it says it was tested and works. I think they're six volt. I don't know that for a fact. I need to, again, check in that more before I ever try to turn it on. Um, yeah, it just it looked cool, and it was, like I said, it was the most reasonably priced one I could get my hands on. Um, I tried to make some offers on eBay on some other ones, and nobody was biting, so. And they're still for sale, by the way. <laughs> the end of the chassis is just the square tubing. And I was I needed some kind of tail lights. The Winnebago has working lights. I can make these work. The way the chassis is bumped out here, I can get into that tube and I could shove some LEDs down in there. And the tail lights I made out of vintage Tonka or fire truck lights, roof lights, mounted on top of the cabs. They one of them is original. One of them is a reproduction. I have a bunch of uh, Tonka parts in stock for the stuff we did on the other channel. And uh, yeah, I kind of squeezed the aluminum, or the steel, I don't know, the little metal bezel, flattened it, and I did just shoe glue them kind of into the frame rail because there's really no way to attach that. I couldn't weld that to it, and it was just the best best way to do it to get it to stay. All right, so the trailer, like I said, is all bare metal. Um, I used some, I don't know what size that is, quarter inch solid rod, did the cross braces, rest of it's half inch. <laughs> we just laid the motor over. But um, that will rust up nicely eventually. See the little airplane tires? That one's got some dirt in there and he's <laughs> cleaned out already. Probably a couple drops of oil wouldn't hurt it. Um, and I just stuck this rusty nail through the bottom of the boat, folded it over the frame. The front is tied down with that scale, or scale looking rope I've had forever. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty simple. It's a little too low for my gravel driveway. You can see that's why everything's filthy because I was dragging it through there for a minute. I had to carry the boat while the Winnebago drove. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It's exactly what I've been envisioning. I've had this idea in my head for since I got this boat. And it's just, I needed something 
correct that I could pull with the rat rods or the Winnebago, something that looked custom, old, rusty, patinaed, and uh, really, really happy with how this came out. So I'm going to wrap this video up here, guys. I appreciate you all watching, and be sure to like, subscribe, and share if you want. See you all in the next video. Keep it scale.